Yeah. We're here on Church Street in Burlington, Vermont, and we're standing in front of Ben and Jerry's flagship store, and we're bringing attention to the fact that Ben and Jerry's, or more correctly, Unilever, which is their corporate owner out of Brussels, have an ice cream plant going in occupied Palestine. Now, Ben and Jerry's this past summer made some vague promises about someday doing something. And the Palestinians cannot wait for the promises of Unilever or Mr. Ben and Mr. Jerry. So they're suffering now. And as a result of that, bong hits for Palestine is here today to ask people to boycott Ben and Jerry's and let's take apartheid profits out of our town square now because those apartheid profits are what's contributing to the suffering of the Palestinians. So we're probably, I don't know if it's the first time, we are offering people bong hits or because of the variant it turned to hookah hits and is now rolled up joints in exchange for their abstaining from buying ice cream here at the store. So that's where we're at and we're going to see how this day goes and uh, we're kind of merging cannabis culture with resistance culture. So it's, um, it's on to support the Palestinian people and on to BDS, Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions. Thank you very much. Aaron, you were walking down the street just a few moments ago, and you stopped by to ask about what the protest um, was about. Where are you from, and what brought you over, and what is your concern about Ben and Jerry's and about the Palestinians? I'm from New Jersey, and um, I think your banner and like your setup just really brought a lot of attention. And I think what you're doing is really great because, especially since Ben and Jerry's um, presents themselves as being so concerned about social justice and activism, I think it's important to hold themselves to that and to support um, Palestine. Thank you very much, Erin. Thank you.